Hi, my name is Matthew Roberts. I'm a third year medical student at the University of Alberta. I also have a background in audio engineering and I wanted to share some tips on how to get uh, great audio quality for your podcast recording. Okay, my first tips are about mic placement. Some people think that they need to have their lips right up against the microphone, but with a lot of podcasting microphones, uh, you actually want to be about the distance of your outstretched pinky and thumb. If you're too close to these mics, you may get a lot of S and T sounds exaggerated, uh, and you may get uh, kind of your mouth sounds, the sounds of your lip smacking, and that can be quite distracting. Uh, just think how it would sound if someone was talking to you with their mouth right up to your ear. Uh, obviously, you don't want to be too far, but uh, that's a good rule of thumb for you. The next thing with uh, mic placement is axis. So this just means you want the mic pointed at your mouth and you want your mouth pointed at the mic. It doesn't have to be exact all the time. Uh, that could be a little awkward and maybe distracting uh, you from doing the podcast. You know, you can look up to read things, but roughly speaking, uh, point the two at each other. Okay, here are just uh, some examples of bad mic placement. So this is too close, sticking the mic inside your mouth. Uh, this one, the mic is not pointing at the mouth, it's pointing straight up. This one, the mic is pointing straight up and it is too far away. Uh, this one, the mouth is not pointing at the microphone. Uh, this one's too close and you're covering the mic with your hand. This one's too far away and this is great here. Uh, this style of mic, it's okay to be a bit closer, but a lot of podcasting mics, um, you want to be a bit further away. So here's an example with um, a popular uh, USB podcast mic. This would be a great uh, setup to set you up to have some great sound quality. Um, another issue is plosives. So when you make the... Uh, sound P, if you put your hand in front of your mouth, you'll actually be able to feel a gust of wind coming out. And if that gust of wind hits the microphone diaphragm, then uh, it's going to cause distortion. So if that is a problem for you, which it may not be a problem at all, uh, you could use a pop filter, which is basically a uh, piece of nylon that you put between you and the mic that blocks that gust of wind. Or you could speak slightly off axis. So just speak just to the side so that gust of wind doesn't hit the microphone diaphragm straight on. Or you could try being a little bit further away from the mic. Okay, the next thing is setting the level. So basically we want the strongest signal possible um, without distorting. So uh, this just shows a good audio signal here. And this one, it's too strong, it's been boosted too much, boosted beyond what's possible to record, so um, it basically gets clipped at the top and that produces some really nasty sounding distortion. So we want to boost the single as much as possible without causing any distortion. So to show you that, I'm going to go into GarageBand. Okay. So I'm going to start with Empty Project. You could use uh, Voice, but it has a bunch of things set up that you probably don't need for recording, uh, like a singing voice. So we're just going to go Empty Project. And then I'm going to record using a microphone. And my instrument is connected with Blue Snowball. So I'm using the Blue Snowball USB mic, so you could just click here to select that if you've connected that. Okay, great. Here we are in GarageBand. So uh, the recording level is actually set down here. So um, I'm just going to record a little bit. Oh. So you see there was a bit of a uh, count in there. I'm just going to turn the count in off because I'm not recording music. I'm also going to turn the click off. And I'm going to change this to time instead of beats and project. So Okay, and I'm going to delete that little bit that I recorded. Go back to the beginning. Okay, now I'm ready to kind of do a little test recording 
and see how the level is. So I can see that I'm getting a good level here. And I'm going to speak as loudly as I think I would possibly speak during my podcast, maybe even a little bit louder, because it's better to err on the side of recording with a lower uh, level and not distorting than to risk distortion. So that looks fine. If I did have any distortion or uh, any uh, peaking, any of it going beyond the top here, then I could just turn the recording level down here. I'll just show you what that looks like. So now I should be getting, yeah, you can see I'm getting a much weaker signal. So that would not produce the best audio quality. We want to turn up the recording level as high as possible without having any of this touch the edges here. Okay, great. So um, next I would want to just listen back to this and now I'm ready to kind of do a little test recording. Uh, I'd probably listen to a little bit more of that and just make sure I'm satisfied with everything before I go ahead and record my whole podcast. But let's just say I'm feeling good about that. So I am going to record my podcast. Here we go. Type 1 diabetes is a condition in which your child does not make the hormone morphine. Because of this, it is important that the child is provided with this hormone regularly through subcutaneous injections. So that's my uh, podcast, um, but I listened back to it and I realized that I made a mistake. I said morphine when I should have said insulin. So that happened right here. Morphine. So what I'm going to do is just cut that out. So I just click here, split it playhead, and then I'm going to go back over here. Again, split it playhead, and I can zoom in a little bit. So you could use this to remove uh, little mistakes that you made or even uh, noises that you hear between when you're speaking. And I just hit delete to delete it. And then I'm just going to go over here and turn the counting back on, and I'll say the word insulin. Insulin. Did I get it? No, some kind of delay. That's okay. Taking that off. Insulin. There, we'll just trim that up. And I'm gonna drag that back in there. Does not make the hormone insulin. Great. Of this, it is important so I fixed that mistake. We won't be injecting children with it with uh, morphine. Uh, next, I'm just going to put a little bit of compression on this. So uh, we come down here, just turn the compressor on, and just listen to this. Type one diabetes is a condition. So I'd recommend you just turn this up until does not make you're starting to get insulin. Uh, maybe around these top uh, four lights lighting up here. Basically what compression does is it um, it makes the recording a more consistent volume. Without compression, um, when you're recording audio, some parts might be quieter, maybe you just didn't uh, project as much in a certain sense, and then it can be uh, difficult to hear your recording in a noisy environment. For example, if someone's washing dishes or listen, listening in traffic, the uh, background noise in their environment might drown out the sound of your voice uh, when you're not speaking as loudly. So by using compression, we are kind of squashing all the volume so that they're all about equal and people will be able to hear your podcast easily. So uh, my advice, just listen to your podcast and turn up the compressor until it's lighting up uh, on the louder bits around maybe the top four lights here. So that should be great. Okay, so now we've added compression, we've recorded. Now I'm just going to drop in the uh, sound clips for Pete's cases. So I'm making a new audio track and I'm going to add audio file. And there's the Pete cases intro clip. I'm just gonna drag that over here and then I'll select all of this with all of my edits all at once and just drag it over here. You can actually drag it kind of like that. And then I can use these sliders to adjust the relative volume of the two. Welcome to Pediatric Podcast for PedsCases.com. 
Type 1 diabetes is a condition... So, I actually don't feel like I need to adjust them, but say if I, if I thought the intro was uh, too loud relative to my speaking, I could just turn it down a little bit like this, or turn my speaking up a little bit. Uh, great. Then once I have that just the way I want it, um, I'm just going to go through here and check. I'm actually going to turn off the EQ since I didn't use it. Um, I'm also turning off that EQ. Uh, great, I don't have any other effects on, just the compression on my um, dialogue track there. Then I'm going to go share, export song to disk. I'm choosing AAC with the highest quality since I spent uh, so much effort to make sure I got a really good quality uh, recording there. And I can save that as PEDS cases. Uh, and I'll hit export. There you go. That's all there is to it. Um, I hope that will uh, be of some use to you. Those are some simple tips. Basically just uh, get a good mic placement to start with, record in a quiet room, um, and then make sure you get a good uh, recording level. So that's over here. I forget where it was, but you saw it e earlier. Get a recording level that's as high as possible without uh, causing the waveform to touch or even really get uh, close that you'd be at risk of touching the sides here. Uh, then just apply that uh, little bit of compression uh, to your track to make sure you can hear it in a noisy environment and then export at the highest possible uh, audio quality. All right, thank you very much.